What do you want, son? Excuse me? In life. What are you after? A shot at the title? A seat by the band? Well, I don't know, Mr. Price. That's a very expansive question. <laughs> right, expansive. Good answer. You know, years ago, some people would have thought you were a homosexual, using the word like expensive. You're not a homosexual, are you? No. Not behind me to rent? No. Ah, I didn't think you were. No harm in it, I suppose. Times change. You know why people like you can't leave this business? Because you make too much money for people like me. Anyway, I'll get to the point. I need a favour. I need someone who's a bit cute, a bit of a smooth operator, not a two a penny loudmouth, too many grasses around. Well, it'd be a pleasure, Mr. Price. Jimmy. You can call me Jimmy. Now, this favour, it's not for me, if the truth be told. It's for a good friend of mine. Uh, like a blood brother, we were at school together. Now he's a right wheeler dealer, flinging up skyscrapers. His wife's a proper blue blood. I'll give you a clue. Eddie Temple. Does that name mean anything to you? I know who you mean. Now, Eddie's got a daughter, Charlie, bless her. The light of his life. He worships the ground she walks on. She's a proper beauty, Charlie. You ought to give her a correct moniker. Charlie Spencer Temple. But she ain't behaving like a lady. She's hooked on the white powder and loves a wronging. And this is where you come in, right? You're gonna find her. Find her? She's gone missing. Well, you should get a private detective. Oh, right. Well, some nosy ex-policeman still on the payroll at Scotland Yard, you mean? Yeah, but... She's I've done a runner been... from a drug rehabilitation unit in the West Country. Right, rehab. She got loved up in there with some low-life crackhead called Kinky. Well, I reckon they've legged it back to London. I, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Every I'm... now and then we're asked to do something above and beyond the call of duty. It's called sacrifice, son. Ask Jean. Ask Morty. I'll do my best. You do your best and find her. Keep Mr. Maguire posted. Also got a little business, more in your usual line. Gene will fill you in on the details. I hope everything was to your satisfaction, Mr. Price. F***ing excellent, Angela. Thank you. Details, details. Things to do, things to get done. Don't bother me with details, just tell me when they're done. Who said that, son? Winston Churchill. Close. No, I said it. James. Lionel Price. Good boy. I'll see you two at the yard tomorrow, say four o'clock. I'll tell you about that bit of business. I've set up a meet for five with the Duke. <laughs> What's with him? He's just had one of these. These are super easy, mate. We're gonna make millions! Hey, I don't care. <laughs> this is my boatyard, man. No, I want those pills and that <laughs> idiot out of here now. I can't afford to get nicked. Paul, Paul, calm down, mate. What's the matter with you? I've got Jean coming down with a buyer. You'll be in your whack. <laughs> here, chill. Have a pill. <laughs> Jean, why are we doing business with the Duke? Yeah. Why are we dealing with this joker? He's a Maniac, a relic, a throwback. Belongs to the dark ages, Gene. Will you just shut the up? We're dealing with the Duke because he has one million ecstasy pills of very high levels of MDMA, okay? One million? Gene, that is a lot of pills. What's the tax on that? Jimmy wants 50% netto. Love a bit of cloak and dagger this lot, don't you? Oh, yeah, driving a bright yellow Range Rover. Very subtle. Will you two calm down? Feel better once you got your money out. Huh? Yeah, with how much can you spend in Parker's for the scrubs, Gene? Come on. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't go getting too gutted. Jimmy doesn't want to.
okay? Who? Me? Don't you talk to me like I'm some kind of mug. Just Easy. don't you talk to me like Duke, that. don't take this personally. It's business. Now, you want to know how much these pills are worth? Yes! Please? Right, now, just because you pay a fiver a pop down the local cattle market, don't, don't, for f***'s sake, start thinking these pills are worth millions. They're not. We've got to find someone to buy these pills, and then they've got to split them up into parcels of, say, I don't know, 100,000. They've got to find these people. It's hard work. Oh, you give a f***ing aspirin an headache, pal! Then you've got currency fluctuations, you've got police activity, you've got adverse publicity. I mean, you tell me. Who has got the readies lying around to pay for a million each? This is f***ing bullets! That's a son f*** up! Do we all want a good deal out of this? Mate, 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 mate. That parcel of pills has got to be worth five million easy. Five pound each, yeah? You are joking. It doesn't work like that. Don't keep f***ing saying that to me! I've got some samples. I'll stay in touch with Eugene, OK? You wouldn't be so f***ing flashy if you didn't have him behind you, would you? Eh? Yeah. Well, he f***ing has, ain't he? Where the f*** these monkeys get a million E's? Don't worry about that. Can you place them? No, we know someone up north who can buy them. Morty, set up a meeting with Trevor and Shanks in Liverpool. 